the Navan Novices Maiden Chase will close me out for the day. It's a two and a half mile Maiden Chase. Novices again at the top. Lucky ending, David Hooley, Mujahid Isaacs for Derek Hinton. Stitching time, Graham Clitterbuck. Valiant rest and newcomer for John Morgan. Fontainebleau for Padre Hogan. Freeform Craig Beckwith. Glenn Linney Kafer for David Robertson. Ice cold one for Obi Wan and light bustle for David Robertson. So that's your field then. All this novice chase and away they go. It's a short one to the first. And unlike the hurdle race, they've all successfully negotiated the first obstacle. They've got 15 more to take. And stitching time is the one that's taking them along then. From light bustle on the outside has just been bustled up into second and stable companion Glenlini Kafer is also coming through around the outside as well so they're jostling for position through the first few furlongs but stitching time is the one who's got the lead and he's settled in that position and over a third mistake there by David Hooley's lucky ending I've seen that one dropped almost last in fact it is last now but it's stitching time, is there's no more than six lengths first to last, I wouldn't have thought, at this point. And stitching time is in the lead, then three in a line, like Boss or Fontainebleau and Glenlini Kafer. Then after that one comes Valiant Rest, bit of a gap to Mujahid Isaacs and Lucky Ending. And then Ice Cold One is after that one there. Free Form is just at the back as they get over number five, but they're all safely over the fifth. And stitching time is in the lead. So with a sixth in front mistake there by John Morgan's Valiant rest in the pale blue jacket. And you can see the fielder so tightly grouped that what a mistake. Almost jettis injured to last. If you make one. So stitching time continues to lead. That's probably the only one that could get away with making a mistake and not end up last. In front at the moment, from Light Bustle second, Fontainebleau and Glen Lini Kafer after that one, and then free form and Mujahid Isaacs. Nice cold one as they get over the seventh. Which they're all over safely. They're coming up past the stand there. Got one more circuit to go. Stitching time is in the lead. Passing the winning post. With a complete circuit to go. It's stitching time in the lead. Light Bossel in second. Glenlini Kafer is third. And then Free Form is four. Valiant Rest is five. Mudred Isaac six. And then Fontainebleau seven. Ice Cold one eight. And finally Lucky Ending as they take that ditch. Uh, and there's a faller at the back there, Ice Cold One has gone. So, Ice Cold One is out. And the jockey can get in the ambulance, tootle his way back and have an Ice Cold One. But it's stitching time was in the lead. And a light bustle second as they get over the ninth. Which they're all over safely. Valiant Rest is third. Then Lini Caver is four. Then Free Four and Mudgee and Isaacs as they come into the tenth. Stream over that one nicely. Good jump at the back by Fontainebleau and the yellow and black of Padre Hogan. That one starting to get a little bit closer, but stitching time continues to lead as they come into a plain fence, which is number 11. They all get over that one, okay. Stitching time in the lead still from Light Bossel, who's gone second. Valiant Rest is third. Then Glenlini Kafer on the outside with Lucky Ending and Fontainebleau and Mujahid Isaacs together, free form. A couple of lengths behind them as they make their way down towards the next. Another plain one, the lead was a little bit slow over it. It's now been joined by Light Bustle and Valiant Rest. It's almost four in a line as Glenlini Kafer comes around the outside. Gap then to Lucky Ending. Mujahid Isaacs is trying to get going on the inside. Fontainebleau flutters to deceive a couple of furlongs ago. Now starting to try and get going again. Free form at the back. He's now out of it. It's trying to switch around the outside. But Glenlini Kafer has now just taken it up from Stitching Time on the rail. Stitching Time fighting back as they get over that one. They landed together. Valiant Rest looks to be going well in third, Light Bossel is still there in fourth, then Lucky Ending, Mujahid Isaacs is now really beginning to move on then on the outside, Fontainebleau over the second last they go, and it's Glenlini Kafer who's just taken it up, and here comes Mujahid Isaacs with a strong looking run as they race down towards the final fence then now, it's Glenlini Kafer stitching time is coming back at him on the inside Mujahid Isaacs on the outside Valiant Rest isn't beaten either, surely between these four, but Lucky Ending is trying to run on they still want a furlong and a half to go stitching time finally beaten, it's Mujahid Isaacs and Glenlini Kafer from Valiant Rest. Then comes Lucky Ending, they're racing down towards the final.
final fence over it they go and a better jump by Valiant Rest on the outside sees him poke his head in front but no Mudgee and Isaacs he's trying to fight back it's Valiant Rest and Mudgee and Isaacs Valiant Rest and Mudgee and Isaacs and Valiant Rest is going to take it it's a newcomer winner for John Morgan and Derek Hinton stated in the forums today in a jokey form that he hates John Morgan well he's going to hate him even more for that because he's just picked him on the post and John Morgan is back in the jumps game so Valiant Rest wins it for John Morgan Mudgehead Isaacs for Derek Hinton is second lucky ending for David Hood he was third Glenlini Kafer for David Robertson fourth and Fontainebleau for Padraig Hogan was fifth